All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your plan. Martial Arts Live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defender. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block right there. Clinch position, the underhook is gonna be very important. Whoever controls the underhook is in control of this position. Joy gets hit with a kick. 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right under the elbow, the body keeps playing. Oh, nice. The one-two punch is true. Just misses with the jab there. All right, so a nice job there defensively to rate. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to the speed. A oh, little single collar tie there. And now he's got that tie switch. Slips that left hand. Collar tie, and they separate. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice kick landed there by Shaw. Oh, he eats a knee. And they separate. All right, single collar tie now. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Nice straight punch. And he landed the right hand there. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Choi. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds the knockout. Wow. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Gotta check these low leg kicks. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm gonna tell you one thing: it does not feel good. Blocks the shot. Seconds now to go in the round. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Big power shot there. Nice strike. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Well placed kick there by Chor. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those legs. Oh, he's keeping busy here in the clinch. Knee to the body.
defense there. Huge block. Big head kick lands. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice loop and punch. Punch position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off of the side of the octagon to get back to the center where he can dictate the pace and the pressure. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Single collar tie. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Battling for hooks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Beautiful kick. He blocks the punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Duffs the takedown, no problem. Watch knees to the body. Oh! Two circles, serve him up, go get him. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice counter shot there. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Try to establish that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Caught that kick there. Battle for position here. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Left punch is true. Oh, collar tie. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Round three next. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Pretty good right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Overhand right, swing and a miss. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, big punch land. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. That punch no good. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Well, he has landed some good shots. To oh. oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And he comes through with a big knee. Great punch landed with so much power. Leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets oh. the single follow side. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this one. Go finish this fight. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Choice shot is blocked. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Great punch. Takedown defense holds up. on that offering. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Missed with that right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice kick there by Choi. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice punch land over the top. A little single collar tie there. Ooh! Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Ooh, what a punch. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Whoa! He's hurt. Ooh, dive and punch, man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Choice pass attempt denied. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. Final seconds of round three. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. for five five-minute rounds. Beautiful strike. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful body movement. Oh, huge block! Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Right punches there. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Good punch, Lance. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he's hurt. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now. Not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh, straight right. and efficiency with these round and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Just out of the range with that right hand. Dig and kick. Head kick. Choi's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Just missed with the left there. Hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh! He's out! Oh! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. After a huge knockout win tonight, you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. 
not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.